The left proving it really doesn't care if America, in fact, is last. The Biden administration announcing plans to rejoin the United Nations Human Rights Council, despite the United Nations Human Rights Council having absolutely nothing to do with human rights. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Trish Regan Show. I'm Trish. And wow, this is yet again proof that the Biden administration is more interested in approval from the rest of the world than in actually trying to offer up any kind of leadership. You know, you just can't make this one up. The guardians, the so-called guardians of human rights in the world are currently China, Russia, Cuba, Venezuela, (laughs) and well, soon enough, joining the club, the United States of America. We're about to join them. You know, the Trump administration rightly chose to leave the so-called United Nations Human Rights Council due to the hypocrisy, the utter hypocrisy of the countries that are out there running it, while the Biden administration is on a path to sanction these guys, to sanction the council once again. There was news on Monday that President Biden is ordering the U.S. to re-engage, quote, immediately and robustly, that's per the State Department, with the UN Human Rights Council. This is a mistake. This council has no credibility whatsoever. After all, when major human rights abusers like China and Cuba are leading your pack, you might want to question, you might just want to question, right, whether your values are really aligned. (laughs) You know who did question this? Nikki Haley a one-time ambassador to the U.N. who has said that the U.S.'s commitment to human rights, and I quote, does not allow us to remain a part of a hypocritical and self-serving organization that makes a mockery of human rights. She's right on that. The U.S. needs to stand up for our values. Countries like China and Cuba and others, they engage in these massive human rights violations. They effectively insult and they mock actual human rights. So instead of joining the council, the United States, who should lead the way in all this, would be better served by establishing our own human rights council. And we could invite member states that actually abide by real human rights policies. Imagine that. We would set forth those human rights policies and those that actually abided by them could join. And then it would actually mean something. You know, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, he got it right when he described the U.N.'s commission as a, quote, bully pulpit for human rights violators. He referred to the council as a haven for dictators and for democracies that indulge them. You know, though the U.S. is only going to engage, apparently, to begin with, in observer status, Right, that's the initial status that we'll take. The Biden administration says it's going to seek one of the three member seats later this year, according to a report out of the Associated Press. So is this just an example of if you can't beat them, you join them? Is that really what we're doing now? Listen, we're better than that. And we should be setting an example for the rest of the world, the integrity of the United States and all that we stand for on human rights is very much at stake. This is not the time to submit to the likes of dictators and human rights violators. Not at all. Make sure you do me this favor right now. Go and subscribe to this channel. Give it a like. Follow me on Facebook. Sign up for my emails and my daily free podcast. You can subscribe to it at trishintel.com. I'll tell you truth matters. And it's up to us right now to make sure that that truth is heard. Coming up. Joe Biden talks a good game on uniting the country, but if he really believed in any kind of unity, then why are we about to witness another impeachment trial? That's next.